Hi there, Mark again from 3D Molecular Designs. Um, one of the challenges we're all dealing with uh, under quarantine, and especially for someone like me who works with 3D printing and 3D printing molecular models, is that it's not very easy for all of us to get models right now. We're all in isolation. A lot of the students, you guys are working remotely or learning from home. And so we really think physical models are a great way to help understand some of these otherwise intangible or microscopic molecular topics. Um, so what we've decided to do is create a handful of little paper activities. Essentially, you're going to be making the same type of model I have here, but instead of being plastic and made on a 3D printer, it's going to be made of paper and it's going to be cut out and assembled together. So in this first part of that paper model activity, you're going to create a coronavirus. Once you have that in each of the future sections of this website, you will be adding some features to your initial coronavirus paper model to expand its functionality and to discuss some of the other things we'll be covering in those videos. So build this initial coronavirus model and then keep it handy because you'll be adding to it with additional paper features uh, in future sections of the website. So let's dive in. The main things you'll need for this activity are scissors, some tape, and essentially a printout of the design. These are available on this website, and we have them in both a full color version as well as a black and white. So if you don't have access to a color printer, that's okay. You can go ahead and color the black and white printout. And in fact, we even supply the overall dimensions of this. So if you don't have a printer at all, in theory, you can grab a pencil and even just a ruler and make your own design using any paper that you might be able to find. But the first step involves cutting out the shapes. You'll see here that we mark where to start cutting, and it's essentially following these dashed lines throughout the entire layout. So we can start, and I'm going to speed this up because there's no reason to watch me cut paper for 20 minutes. You don't have to be a perfectly precise, but just try and match the dotted lines as well as you can. Notice that on the yellow piece there are some additional dashed lines that go kind of into the main parts of these four sides. You just gently take your scissors and cut each of those, putting a small slit or cut into the yellow piece of this virus model. So at this point we have our yellow component, which is going to be our virus envelope or membrane. And then we have all these little triangular shaped magenta pieces. These are all of our spike proteins that are going to be on the outside of our membrane. And so the next step is to attach our spike proteins. Start by taking one of these small spike proteins and bend just the bottom of it, right about like that. You can then insert the spike protein into the little cut or slice that you put in to your viral membrane. And that little tab you'll see will be sticking through onto the inside of your virus. Grab a small piece of tape and essentially tape that tab into place. If you have a little extra tape, that's okay. Just wrap it around. And now that spike will essentially be sticking out or off of the surface of the virus membrane. Again, we're going to speed up this footage so you don't have to watch me cutting and taping all afternoon. There are 16 of these spike proteins and 16 little slices into your yellow viral membrane. So you should be able to attach all 16 spike proteins onto this viral membrane. So at this point, you essentially have your flat yellow viral membrane with all these little spike proteins sticking off of it, 16 of them to be specific. So the final step then is to take four pieces of tape and essentially attach the four pieces of this membrane together. You do this by taking the little tab on one of the fourths and bringing it over to the next one and just put a big piece of tape right across that just like that. 
Now we can go to the next one. Here's the next tab right here. And just bring this right on over to the next part. And add a piece of tape right there. We can do it two more times. So here's the next tab. Bring that right on over. And attach it there. And that just leaves our last or fourth tab, which will go right there. And I'll add one last piece of tape to that tab as well. So when you look at it, you'll have this hole in the middle. This is be, will be where in future videos we'll be adding some genetic information, some RNA cargo for this virus. It has its overall spherical or envelope shape, the yellow being that membrane or envelope. And then it's covered all over with these key spike proteins. These are the proteins that will be involved in docking onto a host cell and bringing the virus inside of our body. All right, so that should let you create your own coronavirus paper model. And it will have the key features that we're going to be discussing more in future videos.